I'm checking out the Iberian Lounge at the Hotel Hershey. Let's see. Actually, one of our first videos was on the Hotel Hershey, and we're doing a whole series on a bunch of different foods and different options you can have here at the Hotel Hershey, as well as another tour. So it'll be a bit more condensed, and I think a bit more uh, better format than the last tour we did, because we were pretty much novices at the vlog game. But this video isn't about a tour of the Hotel Hershey. It's about one of the most notable dining and bar options here, the Iberian Lounge. The Iberian Lounge can be found on the sixth floor of the Hotel Hershey, and it's right next to the Fountain Lobby. Now, the Fountain Lobby and the Iberian Lounge are uh, kind of inspired and themed after Milton Hershey's trips to the Mediterranean in Europe. Uh, it was actually built, or this area was built with the initial building of the Hotel Hershey in the 1930s. So a lot of history steeped in the grounds here, helped and made by Milton Hershey himself and inspired by the decor and artwork that he's seen in that area. I'm very excited to check out the Fountain Lobby again. It's one of the most beautiful areas here at the Hotel Hershey. You can also find an assortment of different dining options throughout this area, including Trevi 5, which I will be having a different video on. Uh, that's more of like, I believe, Italian cuisine, whereas the Iberian Lounge is generally more drinks and side dishes. So I'm excited to try the food out here. It definitely looks very good, and you don't need a reservation. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, join me for my dinner here at the Iberian Lounge. All right, so it's self-seating here at the Iberian Lounge, and the attention to detail in here is stunning. It's definitely something that separates it from a standard resort hotel bar. Uh, you can see the woodwork and, again, the attention to detail, as well as all the different artifacts you can find. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if some of these artifacts were things that Milton Hershey actually saw on his trips to the Mediterranean, uh, but they definitely look somewhat authentic. Uh, something that accentuates this area as well is the fireplace that you could find right at the center. Uh, you could actually sit right next to it and order your drinks over there. We pick more of like a corner spot, try to be away from the hustle and bustle. Also, the bar area has a beautiful picture right at the front. And I asked one of the waitresses here uh, what that was a picture of, and it's actually a picture of the Fountain Lobby. Fountain Lobby probably being the most notable uh, room here in the entire Hotel Hershey. If you're staying here, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, but the picture actually looks like a scenic outdoor shot, and the Fountain Lobby is meant to look like it's outside. So if you look up at the ceiling in the Fountain Lobby, it's clouds, a uh, blue sky, always a blue sky there in the Fountain Lobby, much like in the Mediterranean. Uh, so yeah, seeing the Fountain Lobby again, being in here again, it's uh, definitely something that feels larger than life and something that separates it from other resort hotels. They started us off uh, with some appetizers, but not bread. I mean, this is a bar, so obviously they have the bar nuts, but it's also the Hotel Hershey's. It's a bit more upscale. Uh, the bar nuts that they gave us are actually, I believe, um, Bloody Mary peanuts. Then they gave us olives and some candied almonds. So I'm gonna try those out right now. All right, so I'm gonna start off with these Bloody Mary peanuts. That's definitely something that interests me. I, I don't think I've ever had a Bloody Mary formed peanut before, although tomato and peanuts, I feel like is something that goes well together. There's a little spice to them. Salty, not too salty. Those are good. Better than a standard nut for sure. I'll give it a solid seven. I think they're great. All right, time for one of these olives. Olive's good. Standard olive. Good olive. Oh, it's spicy. I didn't see that coming. Oh, it's very spicy. Well, those are hot. Not too hot, but hot. I'll give it a six for the spice. All right, now the candied. Now, I'm a big fan of candied almonds. Uh, I like anything sweet. I'm sucking for sugar, so I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this. Stephen, good. All right, so I wasn't gonna drink, but one in Rome or one in Hershey, I feel like you have to, if you're at a Hershey bar, have one of their signature chocolate cocktails. So I believe uh, this is called, actually I know it's called, the Hershey's Chocolate Caramel Martini. Now it includes Smirnoff Caramel Vodka, uh, Marie Blizzard Chocolate Liqueur, Godiva White Chocolate Liqueur as well. Oh, Godiva. 
didn't even know Godiva made a white chocolate before. It shows you how much I know about drinking. I asked for it not strong. This definitely isn't strong. Definitely on the, the sweeter side. If you like a sweet martini, uh, as I'm sure Sam would, and I wish Sam were here, this is definitely for you. I think it's delicious. It's definitely very sweet. It's like chocolate milk mixed with vodka, which, I, I mean, I'm all for, but definitely I think one or two of these will probably give you more of a stomach ache than a hangover. Um, I think it's well prepared. I'm going to give it an eight. All right, so we got a smorgasbord of different options here. Uh, one of them actually reminiscent of something, if you've seen our harvest videos, something we've had at the harvest, which is the Bavarian pretzel cheese board. It's basically a charcuterie board, but instead of bread, you have a giant fresh baked pretzel. This one comes with Trogue's beer cheese, which I didn't remember seeing at uh, the harvest restaurant, but it definitely looks a lot like the one at the harvest restaurant. Uh, we also got the meatball sliders. Now the meatball sliders have uh, Pomodoro, mozzarella, aged provolone, and basil. They look very good. Uh, we also got the, I'm probably not saying this correctly, so correct me in the comments again. Uh, patatas bravas, crisp twice cooked potatoes, salsa brava, pimentan, and lemon aioli. Uh, the Bavarian pretzel and cheese board comes with cured meats and cheeses, fruits and nuts, Trogue's beer cheese dip, and a mustard dipping sauce. So I'm excited to try all this out. I think I'm gonna start with the potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna start with these twice cooked potatoes. I don't like this with sauce. It's very crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's good. It's good. It's solid, uh, it's either seven or six for me. It's definitely not a 10. I'll give it a six. They're good potatoes, definitely above average. All right, now it's time for me to make a mess. These meatball sliders. Hopefully I don't get it on my brand new Polynesian Trader Sam's shirt. Not as messy as I anticipated, but that's a good meatball. Not a spicy meatball. Good meatball. I have had better meatball. That's good. Oh, those are seven. I think seven. I think seven is suffice for them. All right, so I'm gonna try some of these dips. Definitely need to try that Trogues beer cheese. Big fan of Trogues, by the way. We have a video going there. It's in our holiday lights video. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, food there is great, but I definitely recommend it. That was mustard. It's like a creamy mustard. And some spice. I'm gonna try a few more things on the pretzel before I rate it. My dad was just saying, I think it's like a honey Dijon mustard. I definitely wanna try the beer cheese. That's what I was look most looking forward to. Could be warmer, but good. So far I'm giving the pretzel a seven. Could change once I get more into it. So far it's a seven. All right, so that does it for my time here at the Iberian Lounge. It definitely impressed me. As a bar, I didn't really expect much going into it, but I thought the food was really good. The service was great. The pretzel was definitely the similar or same pretzel that I had from the harvest. I think that may have been my favorite thing that I had out of the food that I had. All of the potatoes were very well cooked. They do have an assortment of desserts I want to note as well. Uh, one of the things that really stuck out to me was a cannoli cheesecake. Unfortunately, I just didn't have enough room to try everything there. Uh, and they also have an assortment of different wines on the menu as well. Uh, actually, a huge drink menu, so definitely something worth checking out. And of course, the martini. You know, you got to get a chocolate martini or a chocolate caramel martini in this case when at Hershey. So definitely a fine experience here, and I definitely recommend it checking out the Iberian Lounge, if anything, for the decor and the atmosphere if you're staying at the Hotel Hershey. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out there into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notifications so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days, but make the days count. I'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, this is definitely the best spot in the hotel Hershey, so. On the sixth floor, the fountain lobby inspired by Milton Hershey's trips to the Mediterranean. Definitely stop by the fountain lobby. There's something I didn't really actually notice before too is see the blue sky up there, but that's like a little tiger head, I think, that's spitting out water. Mm -hmm.